This year's STEM Futures project is focusing on year eight, and doing a whole year group, just picking one pod which happens to be waste. What doesn't create a loop that we sometimes see? You get a mobile phone, you buy it, you throw it away, whereas if you recycled it, you could use it in a loop. Like it. Yeah, we certainly don't want to approach this kind of topic in a doom and gloom way. We're very much teaching it in terms of looking for solutions instead of scaremongering. The problem with recycling, the vast majority of recycling, is that it's actually downcycling. We take a high value product, it gets stripped apart, melted down depending on the material, and manufactured into something else. And more often than not, the product that it gets made into is of a lower value product. We're going to give you a little activity <coughs> here today, which I hope you'll find quite good fun. The activity is going to involve disassembling a torch. I'm going to come round and give you all a torch. I like the take on this. It suits my rather technical um, nature myself in that it's not about tree hugging or the environmental risk for the sake of, of being sort of good to the planet. It's about our futures. This isn't going to be put back together. I don't know if you guys elsewhere in the room could see this. It's as though the plastic has been melted, isn't it, to, to hold these components in. But what should we be doing when we design products? We should be thinking about how they're recycled, but also how easy they can be taken apart to be recycled. So clearly that could have be, that could be redesigned, couldn't it, to be recycled. So are we trying to think of the idea that instead of um, getting, recycling the stuff which uses a lot of the energy, we can try and use the stuff that's already been there. So like for a clock, we can have a, a car tire as the outside or maybe a circuit board which isn't used in a computer anymore as the background so you won't have to use any energy to remake it. They get to um, do things in a slightly different way. They're so used to sort of like chalk and talk really and this is actually much more go away, think about it, they've got to go and do the research and I'm not really helping them at all, they've got to do it on their own. We had some feedback from the Year 9 pilot study about what sort of learning these children had. And the overwhelming comment that the boys wrote about was the fact that they were doing it for themselves. Our idea is a solar panels and hydroelectricity powered boat. Our product is a phone case, but unlike traditional phone cases, it's actually got a solar panel in the back, so it charges the phone as you go along. We're thinking of doing a clock that is made of completely recyclable materials. Um, upcycling is when you're taking a product and you're making it better than a better value than it was before.